We have a right lateral view of the head, neck, and upper trunk, and we are looking at the sternocleidomastoid muscle. For context, the trapezius muscle has been ghosted in with less density so that we can see through it. The sternocleidomastoid has two heads, a sternal head and a clavicular head. The sternal head attaches onto the manubrium of the sternum, and the clavicular head attaches onto the medial one-third of the clavicle. From there, the two heads run superiorly and posteriorly, gradually merging into one belly that continues to run superiorly and posteriorly, attaching onto the mastoid process of the temporal bone and the lateral one-third of the superior nuchal line of the occiput.